Hello, this is Don Hall. This is at Don Hall Works YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I use these cardboard tubes as slump molds. And I make these kind of uh, curvilinear vessels. Okay, so these cardboard things here are actually for uh, post holes for if you're building a fence. Yeah. Dig a hole in the ground, put this in, fill it up with cement, and uh, put your post in. But I use them for slump molds, and, and I get lots of different shapes. I make plates and all sorts of different things out of them. The uh, one we're going to do today is a little complicated because it has a curve that goes this way, and then one that fits into it. It's a little tricky to get the edges just right. But, you know, if you use these things, you can make all sorts of interesting uh, shapes just by laying some clay on top of one of these slump molds and uh, make things of all varieties of uh, shapes and sizes. And you can make boxes or plates or all kinds of stuff. Or in this case, an industrial teapot. All right, so let's get started. Well, I made stencils. For all the parts I'm going to need, I'm going to use this one twice. Uh, and I rolled out a slab. It's about a little over a uh, quarter inch. It's almost five-eighths of an inch thick. I'm going to cut this out now. What this is is one side, another side, and the bottom. And it turns out that all of these pieces get a 45 corner on it. It makes it easier to stick together. And the sides I have to leave the top of it without a bevel on it so that it's nice and even on the top. Now the other pieces are a little bit trickier. I need to trim the edges of this one and I Got to make it so that it will fit on this curve right here. And I have to remember not to trim off the top edge. So this one is going to go back to its round shape and go on here like this. a little different it has to fit on the inside of the arc so I'm going to leave it on here so I can trim it off the sides once again but not the top this will be the top All right, so now they should be all ready to attach. I scored and slipped all the edges, and now I'm going to put it together. I'm going to start with this inner one here, I think. Sort of just set it all in place. The round semicircle ones are nice because they sort of stand up on their own. Now, if you're curious about this method of scoring and slipping and how this all sticks together, there's an earlier video on my channel about how to make boxes and it'll give you all in detail how to fasten this stuff all together. For this one, is do this first, then do the other part and you'll, you, it's easier to get your hand in. So what I'll do is I'll put a little worms like this in there and I'll press it all down and 
spend some time fussing with it and making sure all the joints are nice and tight. All right, got all that nice and, and uh, tight there. Put this last piece on. And what I'll do is I'll get this nicely attached. Then I'll make another uh, little snake. I'll put it in, in that final joint. Clean it up a little bit, and there we go. We're, we're done. All right, well, there we are. You know, if you want to do this, just visit your local hardware man. Ask him for some cardboard post hole uh, forms, and you're ready to go. I, uh, I use all sorts of different diameter of things to make different uh, arcs, but it's easy to do. Thanks for watching.